North Korean leader Kim Jong-un visited a munitions factory and other manufacturing sites shortly after holding a key political meeting. In that meeting, Kim stressed economy tasks rather than defense or diplomacy. Our North Korean first correspondent Kim jong sil reports. After wrapping up a key political meeting, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un visited on Tuesday a munitions factory and other manufacturing sites. North Korea's state-run Korean Central News Agency reported on Wednesday. Kim's visit to these facilities came shortly after the four-day meeting of the Workers' Party Central Committee, which started on Friday. The meeting summarized the North's accomplishments for the first half of the year. Kim said the economic conditions are in a clear upturn and urged the regime to push forward with economic tasks in the latter half of the year. The meeting comes at a time when North Korea is strengthening its foreign diplomacy with countries such as Russia and China. An official at South Korea's Ministry of Unification said on Tuesday that what is striking from this meeting, though, is that there was no mention of diplomatic achievements or messages to South Korea and the U.S. It's possible the North was aware that it could be subjected to international condemnation if it puts too much emphasis on its achievements in defense and diplomacy. I think Kim's intention of only stressing economic agendas is to strengthen the regime by bringing up sectors directly linked to people's livelihoods. The Unification Ministry official also said the regime may hold a standing committee ahead of the Supreme People's Assembly and discuss constitutional amendments. It's highly possible that North Korea would strike out the phrase in its Constitution Article 9 that says the North would strive to reunify the country on the principle of independence, peaceful reunification, and great national unity. The Unification Ministry official said the government will keep a close eye on what direction the regime is taking. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.